Is the language choice appropriate to the rock magazine and which parts entice you and are appealing? I think it is appropriate to, um, yeah, I think in the use of the words killer and massacre and reaper are all quite harsh words, I think, which fit in well with the genre. And I notice that sex, tears, sausage rolls, I'm not sure, but it could be taken from the classic saying sex, drugs and rock and roll, which I think is a clever play on words. Is the language also appropriate to the selected target audience, older teens, young adults and middle aged people? I think it is appropriate as some of the words used, they put like they could be swear words, like even in names of bands. Um, it could have definitely appeal to the older audience. Not necessarily really old, but like even people of the age of like 15 and above. And if the way it says at the top, it says mega win at about a festival pass, which would appeal definitely appeal to an older audience as younger people don't go to festivals. And I think, again, the play on words with the sex the sex tears and sausage rolls would appeal to an older audience who would know the classic saying. Do the images I have used attract you? Which ones especially and why? I think all the images attract me, especially on the front cover where the model's looking directly like straight out. Um, I think that's quite enticing and her body language is... Um, like different and interesting which would attract an audience and it would attract me um the i like the way there's different um genders on the contents page which again um is good and the way you can see the images on the posters as well which is even like the tiniest details. And then there's the editor image, which makes it more personal, which I think is good. And then the continuity throughout, I think is good because you have the same model from the front page all the way through to the contents page and then to the double page spread, which shows good continuity throughout the magazine. Do you see any strengths and weaknesses? Um, I've said most of the strengths about it being enticing, but a weakness may be on the double page spread, the image could have overlapped more with the text possibly to show more integration in it. And maybe on the front cover, the editing may like around the outside, maybe it's too light. It maybe it needs to be harsher so it stands out more. Does the um, editing add to the image in any way and the whole look of the magazine? I think it does. All the images are edited really well, quite sharp, and they're all very saturated, which can make them stand out. They're all photoshopped well to fit the magazine. Does the text, such as the title, attract you to my magazine and why? It attracts me because... The word caution, the font on the masthead is um, it's quite interesting the way it's cracked and the word caution itself is quite a strong word and I think it, it, would, it attracts me and I'm sure it would attract other people. Um, it stands, it all definitely stands out more so it adds the whole look all together. Um, and then I like um, the special edition part is it's quite a different font but it's, it works well in contrasting the other ones. Do you have any comments on the colour scheme in the magazine, especially on the double page spread? I like the way the colour schemes carry on throughout the magazine. The way the, like on the front page, the colour schemes are white, yellow and red and that carries on throughout but primarily on the front page the main colour is white whereas when you go to the contents page 
there's still red, white and yellow, but the main colour then is yellow. And then the same on the double page spread, but the main colour is red. And then all the um, questions are all written out in red, which makes it easier to read for an audience and makes it more appealing. Do, do the components of the layout work well and do they complement each other well? I think they do. I like the way there's a black background throughout, um, which is, it makes it look more structured and all the writing all the way throughout is quite consistent and it's not like there's too much writing on a page or there's too little, it works quite well. If they were separated, would you be able to piece the images together? Yeah, I think I would, just because the whole theme of it's very consistent throughout and like the images again because you have the image of the same model on all three pages you'd be able to pick them out but also the color scheme all the way throughout and um the fonts go throughout as well do the parts of my magazine that noticeably challenge or develop the forms and conventions add attraction to the magazine and which parts I think they do add attraction to the magazine and specific parts are the way caution and interview are very similar fonts which kind of hints to the person that that is caution's own exclusive interview and the way all the um the way it says caution exclusive it shows that but also the fonts help to add to this um, and then the posters and the subscription also add to it to help it.